Hey guys, it's your boy K, back doing another review for Movies in a Nutshell. This week, I'll be doing an American Pickle, which isn't what you think it is. I'm probably not best case scenario for what the family's become. In old country, we have say. I'm sure this has aged well. If man does not throw punch, it is because this man secretly had pulled the alarm. Is this your father? No, that's David Bowie. Is this your mother? No, that's also David Bowie. That whole poster is David Bowie. An American Pickle is about an old world Jewish man named Herschel and his wife Sarah who dream of coming to America for a better life. Herschel, much like Charlie from It's Always Sunny, was a mighty rat slayer. He bashed the fuck out of these rats. Whole generations. I'm talking about women, children, grandparents. He did not give a fuck. Until the rats turned on him, causing him to fall into a vat of pickle brine, much like the Joker fell into a vat of acid, changing his life forever. A hundred years later, Herschel awakes in a modern society, finds his only living relative Ben, and and hilarity ensues. Herschel and Ben are night and day. Both characters have things to make this film rad. Ben being a, a modern app developer in New York is kind of pensive, kind of like a sad boy. Herschel is very out of touch with modern day practices. In a nutshell, of a nutshell, Ben's life is thrown into havoc and chaos by Herschel, causing them to become enemies. Herschel goes on to become a prolific, controversial, artisanal pickle maker. Ben basically spends his time trying to sabotage Herschel for crushing his dreams and it's just fucking funny. By the end of the story, and several spats of making violence by Herschel, the two come together and appreciate the family that they found in each other and are happy with themselves. Watching Seth Rogen play Herschel is, it's pretty, it's pretty fucking special. With the accent, his very, very far right views on things such as women in the workplace, uh, their servitude, interracial coupling, homosexuals, it just, he has a lot of shit to say. And it's, it plays out exactly like how you think it would if somebody from a hundred years ago came out and were asked questions today. Very dissenting views by today's standards, but dude's just speaking his mind. A lot of this shit happens in today's world and it just, it's, it's, it puts a funny spin on him. Good example of this would be talking to your great grandparents. Now, I'm not saying they are all fucked up, but you ever ask your great uh, grandparent or great grandparent like just that one perfect question about how shit was, they might start going off on how shit really was and you might sit there like, can't say this in good public, but that's how they are, you know? Now, let's rate this bitch. I'm gonna bring out the rating bar. Awesome, must watch, damn fine movie, good dumb fun, watch when you're bored, or avoid at all costs. Well, again, I started watching this movie when I had nothing else. I was tired of watching reruns of shit that I've watched a million times. And I do find Seth Rogen to be a hilarious motherfucker. Like, I usually love most of his movies. There are the rare exceptions, but I think the dude's funny. And I was not disappointed when I watched this movie. Now, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say it's something that you definitely must see, but if you're looking for some good dumb fun, I definitely give this movie three out of five. So what'd you guys think of an American Pickle? Let me know down in the comments below. And remember as always, like, share, and subscribe. As always, I would like to thank our sponsor, Neft Vodka. It's Neft or it's fucking nothing. And I don't care what any of these other guys have to say. That's the official slogan that Kay's come up with. It's not the official slogan of Neft Vodka. Please see all participating roles. Once again, it's me, your boy Kay. You can find me on Instagram at KReptar. Figure out how to spell it, it's pretty easy. I should be the only one because I've never met another motherfucker with that name. So good luck getting it. So you'll find me next week doing the Lucifer's season five part one premiere i um, can't wait pretty stoked about the show think it's dope and i love to hear from you guys on that one too so again be sure to hit those notifications and i'll see you guys next week